Hi everybody, it's Joanne Lavelle here. Fantastic, gorgeous, sunny May morning here in Dundalk. And particularly here in Brook Street, where I'm going to show you a very unusual property. It's 12 Brook Street, and it is a property which is entirely untouched by modern hands. So some of you will be very excited at that proposition, and some of you will um, have, the, you know, have the early decision that it's perhaps not for them, because this property, it's a refurbishment, and it's definitely not for the light-hearted but it is fantastic. So I'm looking forward to giving you a look at it. I want to show you Brook Street as a terrace. It's a beautiful uh, area. It is an area of architectural conservation. Uh, the backstory to Brook Street is that it was part of the, the homes that were built by the Great Northern Railway um, to accommodate the, the workers of the railway. And uh, we'll have a little bit of history on our descriptions, details always available online. So it's a beautiful old property and it has really smart um, architectural motifs throughout, like the beautiful uh, curved finishes on the windows, for example, and that beautiful old red block, uh, brick block. Um, Brook Street itself is nicely tucked away just off the RD Road, in between the RD Road and the brewery. Um, so surrounding areas are, there's some industrial development here, but it's, it's low key and it's quiet. And really, um, Brook Street is a lovely sort of quiet, gentle place to live, I suppose is the way that I would describe it. So let's go and have a look inside. Just so you know, the property measures about 80 square meters and um, um, you know, we're not, there's no energy efficiency, there's no heating, there's no inside toilet. Uh, it needs to be entirely rewired, plumbed, et cetera, et cetera. I'll let you make up your own mind. Let's have a look inside. Right, so let's get stuck in and see what untouched really looks like in this lovely period home. Uh, now, straight away, important features to point out. There's lovely architectural features and motifs in this property, which you can see all along this terrace. As we go into the entrance hallway, uh, you see, for example, the curved arches that are part of the sort of period architectural motif. Um, but what I'm pointing out to you, what I'm showing you as we go through each room, this is a full refurbishment situation, okay? We're into the first reception room. There is a fireplace there. All, all buyers need to satisfy themselves that structurally matters such as um, chimneys, roofs, everything are all in order. Uh, you can see here, this is the original windows. They are really beautiful with that lovely curved top but they do need attention and there may be a planning obligation or a preservation obligation in relation to that. I love to see old doors and I really hope that whoever uh, has, owns this property next will maintain some of these lovely old features. Now we're going into, sorry, press pause. We're going into the second reception room. Door's a little bit stiff. Second reception room here. And um, again, uh, well, a sort of a modern take sort of a little bit Art Deco looking on the fireplace there. Um, and you can see there is a recess, slight recess on either side there of the fireplace. Again, with that lovely motif curved top window. There's some good uh, storage underneath the stairs there. And then we go through to the kitchen. Kitchen, very basic. It's a lean-to extension with a, with, um, a felt roof. So needless to say, this area most definitely will um, take up uh, your imagination. That's a little window there that's giving into the, uh, the understairs storage. We're gonna go and look upstairs first, and then I'm gonna give you a look at that gorgeous back garden, okay? So that concludes the ground floor accommodation. So we've reached the top of the stairs now, and first off, into my left, is a little overstairs storage. Now, I will tell you that I have a good amount of experience in this, these properties in this area. And some people have put a bathroom in there and just managed to fit a sort of a wet room situation. Anyway, here we are into the first bedroom. Now, again, with the feature window, looking out onto that lovely quiet Brook Street. Okay, so that's bedroom number one. Free cobweb. And then bedroom number two with um, recess there used for storage. And then number three, 
And again, interestingly, where I've seen, and if you referen reference back to um, number five RD Terrace, you'll see that this space will very, can be very creatively, cleverly repurposed to make a small bedroom and the bathroom here. At the moment, it's presenting as the third bedroom with that lovely little original cast iron fireplace there. I love those. Um, but as I say, we do need, or the next person will need to uh, allocate a space to creating a bathroom somewhere inside. Right, let's look in the garden. The garden is a massive space and it's pure joy. I mean, it certainly is basic and pretty bare now, but there's so much potential that could be achieved with this garden. It's currently midday, the sun is here, so you're pretty much guaranteed to get sunshine whenever it's available somewhere in the back garden. You can see it's got the original old walls on boundaries on either side. And at the back there, where the original toilet is, it leads out onto a shared laneway so you can adapt that in whatever way that you find fit. Obviously, this property is one that's very much going to require careful planning and meticulous coordination, whether it's with whether it's being self, um, you, people are doing it themselves or getting a con contractor in to do it, but also ensuring that um, preservation requirements are met where they are necessary. And we always let our buyers, you know, investigate that themselves. So that is it. It is a fantastic project opportunity, but I don't say that lightly. And um, it, it's not a property which is for the lighthearted, but one which will reap tremendous rewards for the next owner uh, for whatever their purpose is. So thanks for joining me here at Brook Street. We'll be delighted to show it to you if you would like to see it. I will say though, this property will not stay on the market for very long. And um, I will also say that it is probably um, appropriate to apply for the vacant homes grant, although that won't be a condition of the purchase, um, but it has been vacant for the at, at least the adequate number of years. So um, keep in touch with us, let us know if you have any questions and perhaps we'll see you here in this lovely Brook Street very soon.